this was such a hard one. The top 10 best One Piece character designs. I cannot stress how difficult it was because One Piece is very well known for having extremely memorable characters. I'm doing this strictly based on appearance rather than personality or personality quirks. As always, these are just my opinions, so please let me know who you think was a great character design. Number 10 was Apu. I mean, you look at this guy and you're like, what are you doing? Your mouth is a piano, you're, you've got two elbows, you're... Wh what? <laughs> and then it just, you know, you look at him and you know right away that he has something to do with music, and you know he's wacky. It's just an excellent, excellent design. Number nine is Crocodile. Now, I just think Crocodile had such a great aura. You know, that coat, plus the cigar and the slicked back hair. As soon as you saw this guy, you know exactly what he's about. Plus he had that giant hook hand, which just made, it's like, oh, this guy's evil. I didn't like Crocodile so much as a character, but visually, very good. Number eight was Frankie. Frankie is not only appearance-wise very interesting, but if you think about what's inside of him too, that's very interesting as well. He has so many um, transformations and his various forms are also equally fascinating. You know, even down to his wardrobe is just so, like, okay. <laughs> Number seven is Absalom from the Thriller Bark arc. He had a lion mouth. Then when he takes his coat off, he's like all kinds of different animals inside and he's got that silly hat on. Absalom didn't exactly do very many things that I found memorable, but visually, a fabulously memorable character. Number six is Doe Flamingo. This guy has got a pink feathery boa and pink sunglasses and wild blonde hair and just like checkered clothing. It just, you look at him and you know he's insane, but he's almost kind of insane in this oddly classy way. Maybe classy in kind of a, a cheap way can't even really explain it, but it definitely comes across perfectly. Number five is Aka Inu. Aka Inu is kind of a weird one because if you look at him, he's really just a basic wrinkled man. You know, he has a lot of worried lines and a lot of like eyebrow furrows and, and lines on his face, but he doesn't have anything extraneous. He wears that odd Hawaiian shirt, but I think just the simplicity of his character design makes him super memorable in comparison to all of the wacky looking counterparts. You got him up next to Sengoku, who's got a seagull on his head, and Aokiji, who's wearing a sleep mask and has a fro and this classy white suit, and then like Kizaru, who's like golden and he's like got the crazy curly hair and the crazy face. Just this normal looking guy is such, is so memorable. Number four was from a long time ago, Captain Kuro. I loved this character design because so much care went into it. When you look at his mannerisms, when he's like adjusting his glasses like this before you know he's evil, it's like, what? And then you find out why it happened and it's like, oh my God, yes. Plus he was in disguise for a majority of the time when we saw him. So we didn't really get to see what his wardrobe would look like, but he fit into the black cat motif very well. Number three, similarly on kind of a different level is Django. Django is just memorable because he's so weird looking. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of episodes later, you see this guy and you still remember exactly who he is and what he did and what his shtick was. And that's all you really need for a memorable character. Number two is Brooke. I firmly believe that the best kind of character to remember is one that you can recognize when you just see his silhouette. And if you blacked out everything on Brooke and only saw his silhouette, then you'd know exactly who he is. He's got so many things about him. He's got his, his fluffy collar, and he's got his afro, and Oh, right, he's a skeleton. These are really all kind of extra things in addition to everything we know about him that just makes him special. And the number one best character design in One Piece, in my opinion, is Luchi. Luchi from the CP9 saga. When I first saw this character back when he was still a Galila employee, he was wearing a 
white t-shirt and I think suspenders and I looked at him and I looked at his hair and I looked at his facial hair and I I immediately got the vibe that he should be wearing a black suit and Lucci I feel like with that name and the facial hair and the hat and the hairstyle he should be wearing a fancy suit based on what he looked like only and then a couple of episodes later he's in a black suit and it it made sense it totally worked everything came together for this character so easily and that's why i think lucci is the most memorable and well-designed character from one piece but as i said it's all just my opinions please let me know who you think was the best and if you have any other suggestions for rankings or top tens from one piece or any other show that i've been watching on my channel please let me know in the comments and i will see what i can do bye